When Isaac Newton raced ahead of Robert Hooke to tweet his inverse square law of gravity preprint in 1686, he exemplified the pursuit of scientific priority that has long galvanised boffins the world over. Unfortunately, as we can clearly see from this graph, the unrelenting pursuit of personal credit assignment in science is an activity in decline. Few modern scientific feuds match the intensity of the battle between Tycho and his rival Ursus over credit for the geoheliocentric model, a battle that involved midnight raids on bedrooms to retrieve allegedly stolen diagrams from trouser pockets. Instead, fields like machine learning, which could long be relied upon to generate such drama, have degenerated into a showdown with particle physics in order to show which is more of a team sport. In a damning indictment of the machine learning social scene, with more than 5,000 authors on a single paper, the physicists are clearly winning this who has the most friends battle. Large scientific teams sound very warm and fuzzy, but think of the consequences for those of us with the onerous time commitment of checking our Google Scholar profile every hour, prohibiting our effective participation in these large teams. Unfortunately, double-blind peer reviewers don't know how many authors were on a paper, so their expectations have gone up. The sad result is that getting meaningful contributions certified by these reviewers has become terribly hard work. Even if we were to develop some self-control and join these large scientific teams, there is a second problem. It's a problem intimately related to our healthy lust for prizes, international fame, and a lifetime supply of Cheerios from an adoring sponsor. If we are on a team, who receives the credit? It would be simply awful to contribute a major breakthrough and then have to share the Cheerios. As wisely noted by the Nobel Prize Committee, the maximum number of people that can discover something interesting is three. The vital scientific questions considered in our work are therefore, first, how can we get all the glory? Second, how can we do this with a small team that doesn't have to share the glory? And third, can we avoid any hard work while addressing questions one and two? Our solution is simple. Few-shot scooping with large language models, a human-AI partnership. At the heart of our approach is a hypothesis generation pipeline that crawls tweets from ML ninjas in order to discover GitHub links, then scans two relevant GitHub issue pages, and finally picks out the hypothesis cryptically encoded in the meandering comment threads. We then pass these cues to GPT-4, together with a custom prompt that encourages it to write an award-winning paper and upload the resulting latex file to archive. Lest you get the false impression that humans are not equal members in this human AI partnership, remember that we play the critical role of clicking the I am not a robot button that enables the final upload. And of course, we provide the all-important delivery address for the Cheerios.